Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play GTNH. So I've organized the base a bit, so I got things cleaned up and kind of organized and sorted in a way that uh, I think works well for me. And uh, yeah, so these are about the same, but now all the ores are here, you don't have all this back ore. This is our junk right now uh, stuff. I have to still sort these ones out, but uh, overall, a lot more organized than what it was the other day, so I'm really happy about that. And uh, today we're going to look into... Uh, doing some of this uh, alloy, the new cobalt brass here. We're going to need these anyways, so I thought, eh, why not? So um, we're going to need the brass. Actually, I might need more over time anyway, so I should probably do these in bulk. I was going to do the zinc here. So we got zinc over time from a few things, I guess. But, okay, first you need brass, blah, blah, blah. Zinc only found in small ores in the overworld. And Okay. So we can probably get it through here. So I have these organized really well now. So if we type in zinc here. Okay, here we go. So here's 10 zinc here. And there might be even zinc in this format too. Here's another 10. Okay, I like that one. So we can get rid of this zinc. And then, so if the math is right here, you need that zinc, you need the copper. So um, I was going to grab this kind of copper wash. I already have some of that. But let's do this again then. So let's do 30. And then we need to do another 15 here. If this is the right ratios. Okay. I think that might work. I'm just trying to get it to roughly the, about the same. And then, because uh, that way we can like double, triple, whatever the recipe. And then you want the uh, aluminium, uh, cobalt. We can, we can increase those. So cobalt, we have the the ore itself here which those are going to double anyways right if we macerate that so that should be fine and then uh the aluminium well we have some of that too now we can get this as well from byproducts and stuff like that so it's not a big deal let's see what we can do with this then uh, so let's put this one into the macerator is this going to the... Okay, good. It won't screw that up. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and put you into the hammer. So that way we can get this stuff. Uh, we'll go over here. Perfect. And then we're just needing a bucket here so we can uh, clean up everything. So we got a nice tool container here now. There we go. And then we'll just get our water over here. And we'll wash you. We'll wash you. There you go. So we got the zinc and the... Okay, perfect. So is this like... I'm guessing this is like this then. Oh, it is. Okay. So I'm guessing we got all that done then. You got... Okay, that's all detected. Perfect. Okay. So let's go ahead and create this mixture then. So this is the brass dust here. Very cool. And then we don't need the... Uh, obviously, the other uh, zinc here. In case we want it in ingot form. I'm guessing I can smelt it anyways. You probably don't need like a blast furnace or anything, but you never know. You kind of want the best out of it. And then, yeah, so we're going to get that cobalt uh, dust here. So we're just going to let this one finish here. Also, uh, I'm doing this for the future here, um, but um, oh, actually, I'll, I'll show it to you after. We can probably do it this episode, or it might be the next episode. Probably best to talk about it then. So we're not jumping all over the place, especially if somebody's watching for maybe one particular thing. And oops, we didn't do... Wow, we didn't do a few things here. We didn't we didn't crush it up. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and throw that in here. There we go. I'm dying today. I'm going to mute my mic and do some cuts from time to time just because of my death. This is cobalt. Oh, but this cobalt light. Oh, my goodness. I thought I got it. Cobalt. What is cobalt from then? Uh, byproduct of cobalt light. Oh, byproduct, but not the actual. Oh, so we did this wrong because we got cobalt light instead. Oh, cobalt. Well, the good news is there's another version of it we can get, even if we get the wrong one, and that's the nether version here. Yeah, here we go. So the, we got this version we can do instead. 
Actually, we might even be able to do half of the ores. Actually, I don't know if these are programmed that way. It might... No, they're tinkers, so probably not then. No, but yeah, so you need all of them. Okay. Because, like, Greg Tech Nether Ores, I think, are double you get out of it. But, uh, so instead of, like, two output, you get four output. And, like, end ones, I think, are, like, f you know, four times kind of thing. But I guess these are different because, yeah, it's tinkers. Okay, let's give that a minute. Okay, let's give this another try here. We'll throw you guys in the thing. And we'll get the, the right ones this time around. There we go. There we have it. And I guess you should be happy now. Oh, it's happy, all right. Nothing like a happy one. Okay, so let's go and get this made here. So we'll go over here. Here it is. So there, there's the, the recipe there. And uh, do I need to, you know what, I'll just mass make it. It's like, whatever. Sure, why not? There you go. And there you have it. So we have that all done. Yeah, there you go. So new alloy. Perfect. And give me a bunch of coins. But the good news is we can get rid of those. And uh, yeah, so the dust here, you can keep them or put them away. I guess the way I've been putting my dust right now over here. Um, it's a bit of a run, obviously, to put them back here each time, but that's fine. And then, okay, so the next step would be to making the cobalt brass gear here. So it's just basically cobalt. Uh, so we're just we're just smelting it, I'm guessing. Just regular smelting, yep. And then small pile of diamond dust. I think I should have diamond dust. Actually, maybe we've never gotten... Have we never, ever, ever gotten a piece of diamond dust? It's a bit funny if we have never gotten a piece of diamond dust, but apparently we've never had a piece of diamond dust. So um, there's probably diamond. Oh, yeah, here you go. So we can get it from this, right? Yeah. And then, yeah, okay. So we got lots in here. Let's do the eight. And I guess we should start smelting this stuff up too. So let's go ahead and put you in the smelter, please. Is there one going? No, we'll have to do the... I change around the hoppers depending on the situation, right? Which worked in this case. Oh, we better hammer that up. We'll probably end up screwing out the output on that and be sad. There we go. It's pretty fast. We'll go ahead and put you in here. Oh, wrong one. It's like, why are you putting me back in the water? I've already been wet once today. This is going good. I've never seen this go down. I've I've left these on all of their uh, the the one twenty slash three sixty, so one third the efficiency, because they all calcified. But uh, what's the point picking them up at this point if you're not using it, right? You're just wasting your time. So okay, we can go ahead and put that in there. And uh, I have this set up here. So when I'm doing like, because basically I do like one material at once, and the the chest originally I had here was just a wooden one, it might not be enough, you know? So basically I was just like, okay, let's just do a barrel here, uh, since I was just doing one at a time usually anyways, and it just made my life easier. So if you put this in here, wrong spot. If you put it down here, there you go, right spot. I guess on this side too, yeah, right spot. So that gets you that. And then of course we're gonna make the gear itself. Now the gear might be, uh, be able to make it a little easier. So right now this is all, actually I could get less out of these ones, but Let's just say they're all worth uh, eight in total. So if I put them in here, at least that's a little easier. Uh, extruder, it's cheaper. So technically this recipe is cheaper if you were to go ahead and lathe each of the ones because you'll get half the dust back. Uh, so technically that would be cheaper, but eh, I'm a little ch I'm a little lazy too, so I don't I don't really care that much, I guess. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get our extruder gear thingy ma bopper. So these are in here, which aren't really supposed to be in here anyways. Where are those? There they are. This is actually for the other side. These ones are for, I think are for this, and this one's for this, but that's fine. And then we're going to go to our... I'm either blind or it's not here anymore. Oh, I moved it. That's right. I'm like, ah, what happened to it? It's like, oh, wait, I moved that at one point. There you go. 
So I'll make that. Perfect. And then, uh, yeah, we could store these ones in here. And these ones, like I said, I think they're going to be for over here. So we'll throw them over here for now. Okay. To be honest, I don't need more than the two for now. Eventually, yeah, I might want more, but... And even then, I don't think I really need more than the that, but might as well wait for the next one just so we have two. Okay, so grab you guys. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. So that's all good. Perfect. And then... There you go. That was probably our every 30-minute one, I'm guessing. I get worried sometimes. It's like, oh, no, is this something worse, you know? Um, but I think that's all you do is this there. There you go. So you got your diamond there. And there we go. Awesome. So you get a chocolate milkshake out of that. Ooh. We'll go ahead and get rid of you. And now we can go ahead and make ourselves cutting things apart, which is great because I can make like diamond chests and all that fun stuff. So, um, let's get a bit of everything here, shall we? So we're going to go and get some moto. I say some motor because I think it was just a single motor we need. So that's not a big deal. What else do you need out of here? You need your conveyor here. I like how I have those in stock. Makes it feel so good when you can just pull things out of stock. It's like, yep, got that, got that. Now these technically should be in the other thing, but whatever. Um, some things are a bit messy, as you can see, but that's fine. Okay, so what else am I missing here? I need some tin. So our tin wires are in here. And then we're going to need a piece of glass and the circuit chips, chips. Yeah, there should be. Here they are. Two of those and a piece of glass over here. Now we should be pretty darn close to getting this done. We are missing an LV machine hall. I can't, I can't actually do the thing on that. So we, we've used them all up. So um, that's not surprising to be honest, but it does mean we're going to have to make more. There we go. And uh, then we're going to need to do the rod iron. Oh, yeah, you need the rod iron on top of that. And you're going to need a bit more steel on top of that. And then I think it was just the regular cable, right? Yeah, the tin cable. Wait, we only have enough to... Oh, because we got enough... Oh, okay. I guess we got enough wire for what we needed, but no more. I just thought maybe I got lazy and grabbed all the wire. But there you go. There's the basic mach cutting machine. And then let's go ahead and make more of these guys since uh, these will be useful for other things in the future. And there you go. We got a basic cutting machine. Now you're going to want to give this water or possibly something else, obviously. Um, now the cutting machine, I don't know how much power it's going to use, to be fair. It's giving you examples of what I can do anyways here. Um, so you can use to make your personal chunk loader. Uh, which you can't really use because you need MV for the coins on our server. So um, we're just using pure coins. We don't let you use like ender pearls. Um, and so, uh, yeah, it's just pretty much simple as that. To make the coins, you actually need uh, MV levels. So uh, so we'll get into that. But there you go. You can make the chunk loader. Uh, you can make whatever the hell this is. Tired of one of those. Uh, oh, okay. Tired of talking one by one to every villager determine its trade trade with post shows you all the available trade with the villagers in the area I need a similar to finish this up okay that is kind of cool so this is a, a trade system that uses it okay that's a fun one um you got the diamond chest here so let's just look at the diamond plate here for example cutting plate okay so this uses 30 lv this is using almost your max amount of power so in a case like this you'd probably be better off making a whole new steam turbine. Uh, so let's go basic steam. Um, and I'm, the reason I'm saying this is because you're going to give your head, yourself a headache if you're going to start, you know, fighting with that. So this is bronze fluid pipe. This is, okay, so we need more bronze fluid pipes. So let's go and get more bronze here. But yeah, you're just it's going to be too much of a headache, right? So let's just go ahead and, uh, you know, let's make two of these anyway so we can afford them these days. Gonna need some more circuits here. Boom, boom. And then we might not have enough of these though. Ooh, we don't have enough of those at all. Can I make them somewhere easier? You can with that. Assembly machine is easier too, but it's still annoying. The extruder makes it way easier. 
The fluid one is not bad, but it's MV as well. So basically, yeah, you're going to have to go through tin on that one, molten tin. I mean, I'm fine with that even if I had the molten tin. I'm, I'm, I am still lazy, right, as a human being. So, okay, now that's not supposed to lag a second time like that. So what we can do here, this is spying on people. Inventory view, uh, inventory C. I'll just show you what we can do. Um, I don't think anyone has these things. This could just be coincidence, to be honest, but yeah. Yeah, he's got that sword. I always wondered about that, but it's not even on his bar right now. So there was this uh, issue with a bronze uh, sword that people were finding that was causing a stall or a leg or whatever before. But this one just seems to be just purely just being a pain in the ass. Yeah, see, there's no leg here. So um, anyways, we'll just ignore it. But yeah, we, we admins are gods. No, not really. I wish we were, because when we can solve all leg issues, right? <laughs> you know, my, my buddy Electro would be like, oh, yeah, we, we could just have no players. I'll solve it kind of thing. It's like, unfortunately, that really, really doesn't solve it. I mean, most of our issues so far on this server for all the leg and crashing problems we've had was actually, it seemed to be him. Um, not on purpose, obviously, but due to that bug with the Tinker's tool we had from the chest. And so it's kind of uh, one of those things that's like, you know, you mean well, but sometimes it uh, doesn't work well for your in your favor. So, yeah, we're looking at this. So we got the ring and plates. Oh, yeah, there was just the plates we wanted. So we should have a lot of tin plates still from before. These, I guess, are it. Yeah. Okay, and then we want molten tin. So where do we put our tin these days? I mean, I guess we don't have tons of it. There it is. I think we've done molten tin before. So potentially we have tin in one of these. No, I guess not. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's just do a couple of these. Okay. So we're going to put you in here and then we're going to put you in here. There we go. So this is a great way of doing this. Extruder for those, huh? There you go. That's a good way. I'd like to make more of these, to be honest. I might just go and do that after, just so we can feed this going through more. But I'll let it run through what it can here. I don't know if I have enough, quite enough for that, but we'll throw that in there. One more. Okay. And then we had one in here already, so we'll grab that. Okay. What are we missing now? We're missing four motors, basically, for this setup. Darn it. We're going to need more of those over time, too. Okay, we got them all. Okay, there you go. Two more uh, basic steam turbines. And then we're going to need all uh, pipes everywhere. So we've been using, I think, these guys everywhere. So those are our decent size ones. And then, yeah, we can just dig a new hole. So basically, we have two steam turbines right here right now, right? So the idea is to, to extend this system by, you know, maybe adding another steam tur turbine over here. Actually, I might even just do just that. One here and one here. And then extend it just over here, right? So let's go ahead and get ourselves a shovel here. There we go. Oops, and let's get ourselves some torches over here so we can just light this up. I mean, once you have the one layer, it doesn't really matter usually, but I still do it. Because um, I don't think any mobs can spawn under, like, spawn a, at a, a one. Okay, so we're going to go like this. Now, I guess I'm going to have to in the end. Actually, no, you don't, because you could take that. Uh, whatever. Let's say you could do the one thing and prevent it, but we'll just do it all manually here. Now, I'm going to have to fix these. I actually haven't done uh, the thing on these ones, so I really should do that. Maybe I'll do a reminder for you guys how that works. Ow. So what we do here is you do the whole blocking in. So you do this, right? And, oops, uh, disable input. Uh, so it basically disables... It's input, not uh, the other inputs, right? So, so basically, it means it won't go right; it'll only go left. And this this helps with some performance, uh, basically. 
Does it do a lot of performance? I can't tell you per se, you know, but it is what we do because we, we're doing every little bit to help for performance, right? So, and then you're going to get your other one over here. And then I guess it doesn't really matter where you put it. So we'll put it over here, which this one's like, eh, we're not connected to anything now. There you go. And then same here. So we don't let it go backwards, basically. Oh, and that was wrong then. Oops. There you go. I think I got that right. And then, yeah. Or actually, maybe I didn't do it right. Oh, I probably did it wrong. I thought it was input. Oh, input for that. Oh, okay. I get input there. Oh, okay. You deny the input there. Okay. I always do these wrong. Don't ask why. Just, just a bad habit. I almost always, always am doing this a second time over because my brain just forgets about. Yes, yeah, so you're, de no, you're, you're denying the. Oh, sorry, no, you're denying that input. Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't even know anymore. So you're denying input from that side. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you're denying input from over here, but not there. There we go. So basically it's denying input from this going into there. That's kind of how it does it. So this should be working now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you deny its input over here. You deny its input. Yeah. Denying that pipe to input that way, basically, is the idea. So, or no, you're denying the pipe before it that way. Oh my goodness, I did it again. You're denying it from input in there. There you go. Okay, good enough. I, I have to do, there's some other ones I could fix, but it's like, ah, screw it. Can't spend the whole episode worrying about it. Okay, so there you go. Those are full, and then, of course, they would offer me uh, a nice amount there. So we can go ahead and put this in here, and then we can get our new cutting machine in here. Now, with the cutting machine, unfortunately, here's the, here's the downside with the cutting machine. Um, it requires something to process all the time. So if we do diamond plates, for example, right? We're going to require, you can either do lubricant or water. Water obviously takes more, but, uh, and it takes a, a longer process as well. So a lot more, a lot more time lengthy wise, right? You could do lubricant, but lubricants based off of basically a brewing machine. You can do, oh no, that's seed oil and that, that makes lubricant, you know? So that's how you do a lubricant there. Distillation tower is where you go, I think with lubricant. Yeah. So you do creosote, um, but look at that's MV level anyways. Um, so that's kind of expensive. You can do the seed oil to lubricant. Okay. That's not too bad. So you take seed oil and you can directly turn that or fish oil, which is, I think, what a lot of people do later on. So that's kind of cool. Um, so, you know, like the fish things that we have out in the front of our building, you know, out in the river there, basically they'll convert that into the fish oil over time and do it that way. I think the easiest one is literally just water. And we might even have, I don't know, Sterling. I don't know if we have access to this yet. Yeah, this here, Sterling Generator Water Mabopper. So it's all iron. It's all, ooh, I don't know how you make these elongated glass. No, we can do that. Steel, long steel rod. Yeah, we can do all of this at this point. So this is basically produces 150 liters of water when fueled, causes five pollution, must be placed on the ground. Mobs cannot spawn, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is basically like another method of producing water. Um, but it takes fuel, which I think that's, that's fine. That's not a problem. Uh, the only downside is if you run out of fuel, blah, 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 of course they're not producing water, but I think for something that's not your main power generation that you don't have to worry about it running out of fuel. I don't think it's a big deal to be fair. I don't know about you guys, but I think that's, that's an acceptable, you know, an acceptable, uh, thing. So I don't even know why that was on my bar. Maybe I had it before there. Or I don't know. Anyways. Okay. So let's, let's try that actually. I don't even know where that's locked up or if it is locked up anywhere, but let's, uh, let's do this, shall we? Okay. So, I mean, everything is pretty easy. Uh, we have even this furnace to be fair. You know what? Maybe we just do uh, more of these anyways. There you go. 
And then what, what about those iron plates we had? There you go. Okay. And then, um, yeah, so let's do this one here. So these ones are always fun. We might need even more iron plates, to be honest. But I was just thinking I can just do a bunch of these and get them kind of done. So we're going to have to do... Wait, you will take wrought iron in there? Yeah, so you have to be careful when doing that because we don't want to use up our wrought iron for that, but obviously it can use it up. Um, what are we doing wrong? Oh, there we go. Perfect. And oh, by the way, um, we never talked about these. These were so good. They were basically one creosote does the entire thing. So these are like double efficiency. So you know how I said, oh, you can use these and they give you like, so instead of doing like eight, maybe you can process uh, 10 with the same amount of ore. Basically, um, these will do 16. So yeah, I would say that's a much, 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 much more efficient for a piece of charcoal or coal or whatever. Um, so uh, yeah, don't, don't use these ones. Definitely use the other ones. Um, I mean, there's always people who are going to min and max anyways in some ways. So I just thought that would be important to tell you about that. So we got that. We're going to need the screws. We're going to need... Um, we definitely don't have those. And obviously, we're not going to have long versions of these. So we're going to have to make the long versions of these guys, which we need how many of these guys if we're making this many? Eight of them. <laughs> Bit of a waste of materials here. I like it. Probably one of the few people are like, I love it. Waste my materials away. This is getting changed soon too, that texture there. One, two, yeah. So we, we, we need actually, I don't know why I'm doing it that way. I'm like, I know exactly how many I need. I need nine, but I'm not sure why I'm like placing each one one by one like that. So there you go. There we have it. And oh yeah, we need the pistons. <gasps> we can't afford these. Wait, I did nine on those? Actually, yeah, why did I do it that way? I guess we're doing three now. Apparently we've we've decided <laughs> I don't know how that happened. We decided to go with three now. Um We're we're planning uh more than that. We're planning four, and then somehow we decided to go with three for everything, so Actually, one, yeah. Wait, wouldn't it be just eight or was there more than that? No, no. I guess I just getting thrown off from other stuff. I don't know. Me just being a derp. What's new, right? Um, This is all not worth it. Okay, so basically we'll just do it that way. So um, do I have what I need to make those right now? Yes, I do. Okay. I just thought I might as well make what I could anyways, because we always need them. And then we go ahead and make you, my friend. Okay, so there's one. I'm just going to do this over and over because I'm just being lazy right now. There you go. Awesome. And then we can make this one here. There you go. We made four of them. So there you go. There was a quest for it somewhere. <laughs> Don't, I don't know where it is, but there is, there's a quest, so that's awesome. And I think it will automatically go there, to be fair. Now, I don't know why it shows water. It doesn't actually have water in there. I guess it's just how it works, so that's fine. Kind of threw me off there for a second. So, what can I do here? So, we got lots and lots of coal that we produce. Let's go downstairs and grab our charcoal, because I'd rather do those, and I kind of want to keep an eye on this, too. I wonder if it pauses or anything like that. I'm guessing not, but things surprise you. Usually, anything that burns, like charcoal and coal and stuff like that, that those kind of machines, they're, they're not meant to be efficient, so... But uh, this should produce water. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow, that produces really good water. Well, it says, I think, somewhere. Yeah, 150 liters a second of water. Cutting machine is actually a very slow machine anyways. It's not a boom, boom, boom machine. So that's a win, basically. We just won. Um, okay, so diamond. So, for example, if you want to do the diamond block, you have to make a diamond block. So, wow, we uh, we have what we need here. I could have grabbed the leftovers in here anyways. 
So do you want to power this with your boilers? That's up to you. Um, the good news is if you do choose to do this with your boilers, don't feed it more charcoal or coal or whatever anyways till obviously um, you, you've checked and made sure there's enough water in the system, blah, 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 you know, because uh, you don't want your stuff blowing up. But I guess if you were to use a system, as long as you don't put more fuel into this uh, before, you know, maybe wrenching and, you know, resetting up your system, uh, you overall should be safe. So, and there we go. And that's going to cut that. Now that's going to take a while. Obviously this, this said it's going to take a couple of years. Um, so what about diamonds? Now we just ate all our diamonds, by the way. So if we want to do this quest here, uh, we're going to have to get, uh, you can do them with a lathe actually, but can you do this without a lathe? Yeah, you can. Oh, actually, no, you might need to do it with all of the lathe. I didn't realize that, actually. We do have a lathe, though. Did we ever place it, or... Do we have a lathe? Do we, do we have a lathe? I feel like we have to have a lathe by now. I mean, I have been lazy, but... Uh... So you're supposed to be able to search for things. So we have the cutting machine here, right? Why, I think it was? So you remember originally in the quest book, it told us you can do this, blah, blah, blah. NEI is amazing, blah, blah, blah. Um, it was like NEI 2.0 or something like that, I thought. Maybe it wasn't. When you've provided the special Y command, look for a machine in the world in case you forgot where to place it in advance. Uh, oh, okay. I don't have that one then. I, I haven't seen it actually happen. So, um, maybe it's not, maybe I don't have it set right now. Yeah. So I'm guessing it's one of the things in here that I might have gotten rid of. Well, let's see if I can find T in here anywhere. Do we? There's T. Oh no, that's open chat. Yeah. So I somebody might have added it, but might be not into. You think they would have left it in the NEI, but it might have been done before the NEI work ever existed. So that's probably what's happening here. So machine, I don't know how to, I know, I know how to spell machine, right? <laughs> um, I don't think that's the issue. I think it's more like in here somewhere, but I don't know if we have, yeah, show enchant. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Enchants, potions, search for an item, search the world. Yeah, it is why. So technically, this should search the world for these items, but they're not. So that might actually be a bug. And this just ran out of... Wait, what? how did you run out of... What the... Oh, I screwed up somewhere here again. Oh. You're supposed to stop there. So wait, why, why did you screw up? You should be fine, actually. So you are fine there. You should be fine there, but you're not. Why are you not fine? Oh, it's right there. I thought it was the, the other one, but... It, oh, no, it is there. But I thought that's what we were doing. We're stop. Oh, no, that was before. Oh, crap. There you go. Okay, yeah, never mind. Hip, hip, hooray. Okay, you should be fine now. Once again, my uh, derpiness there. Yeah, it gets a very annoying there. You derp up. I mean, it's not hard to figure that out. It's just my mind. I guess because I do it one way and then I fix it, but then I did it one way before and I keep thinking it over and over and I probably don't put enough thought, power, effort into trying to remember it. So I'm not sure what to say about that, but obviously I'm a derp. Now I have Y bound to this. Do you think potentially that can be having a conflict? I haven't used that in ages. So let's actually get rid of that and let's try that again. Actually see if this changes anything. No, yeah, it's not letting me do the in world. Y. what happens if I hit like Y on this? 
No, I just, I wasn't sure if that would do anything. I think it might be damaged, so it's something I probably should report as a bug then. Um, but anyways, uh, it looks like I don't have a lathe, I guess. I don't know how I wouldn't have made a lathe by now. Um, call me an idiot, I guess? You got autoclave, wire mill, yeah, you got everything but a lathe, apparently. So let's see if we can find lathe here. So lathe... Well, actually, that's another thing I never thought of trying. Um, I still don't think this is going to work, but basic, steam. Let's try Y on here. No, it's not working. And T, no. And Y here. No, okay. I just thought I'd double check that. Um, so let's do the lathe from here. Maybe we actually have one and we just never placed it. And it's in the chest, right? So I'm just going to run around here and hit T here. No. Okay, we've never made a lathe. And it requires a diamond. I, how can I afford a diamond if I just used it all for... Get with the program, game. Get with the program. Might as well just melt these up, I guess. Hello, cat or whatever out there. There you go. We'll put you here. Oh, yeah. It's just going to go in here because that am full. Wait. Oh, you're a pain in the ass. It, because uh, it has a hopper, right? So it just, it's going to sit in there. Okay, so let's look at this lathe that we've never made, like a noob. So we're going to need one of you guys here. That's okay. And then we're going to need, uh, you got you, we got you, you. We have the motor in there. Did we not put a motor in there? I guess not. Um, you got your circuit. Oh, and you got the piston. Oh, that's what it was. Diamond, yeah, 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 I think. Uh, we don't have the circuits, so. Okay. There you go. Yeah, we, we really didn't have the lathe. I just, I was like, I was waiting there for a second, like, uh, are you going to work? Are you going to work? It's like, yeah, you're an idiot. You never had the lathe. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and put you over here, I guess, for fun. Lathe might actually use pretty good amount of energy, too, to be honest. Let's look here, lathe. Oh no, the lathe is a low power machine, it looks like. So, um, depending on all the stuff you have here, I'll just put the lathe over here. There you go, that'll work. I just wanted to make that diamond chest for fun, right? Just like, hey, you know, it's part of the quest, let's do it. So you're still working, look how crazy that is. So we got lots of time, obviously, to work on this uh, this lathe here. So uh, yeah, we're we're using this as the example here. So you can still do that part, but that's not worth it because you can do the the you know one to that takes two of them where you can do the one to one, right? So these bits, how do we make these? So you can cut those, which oh that requires a cutting machine too. So cutting machine does make sense because it would do that a lot faster. Um, Okay, so those take a lot less power, but the cutting machine right now... Oh, yeah, it was using a lot of power, right, for the diamond plates? I hope so, because I might have made a mistake. No, yeah, 30 LV, so it depends on what you're cutting, I guess, at the time. So, yeah, the diamond screw, so we're just going to cut this. So, basically, um, how do we get this to begin with? So, okay, we put that in the lathe, and then you get that. Okay, and then we start going cutting. Okay, so we'll do a couple here. Oh, you know what? There you go. We'll just do that. And we'll let those uh, do their cutting. Cool. Okay, let's clean up our inventory anyways here. Because we, we got lots uh, lots of stuff today. So this is when we get to, to do the cleanup. I, I won't always force you guys to watch me to do the cleanup. But today, you're, you're going to force be forced a wee bit here to watch. So we're going to do that. And then tin can go up here. And don't forget, you can hit the T when you want to be lazy. So I'm going to put the dust here. This is important dust for me, so... It's kind of how I usually do it, but your machine's in here. I'll put you in there as well. Um, I guess you can go in here. I don't have the best. Oh, yeah, I guess down here too, potentially. There you go. And then I don't know if I put you guys into a home. I guess you'd go here technically. There you go. Um, yeah. This one you can reset back to a circuit if you want and put it away. Doesn't really matter. Cool. Okay. 
So we need a, a regular chest. Ooh. There you go. And uh, yeah, we're just going to do the diamond chest. Just don't do the one for fun, right? Uh, so that'll do that. So we got the quest for making a lathe. So hey. Uh, and then we got, what else do we got here? Oh yeah, so I visited the nether. I actually didn't set any of this up, but this was about the basic pump and mining pipe. I've never done any of that, but just going to the nether got you that reward, so that, that was cool. Um, and then steam tier here. Oh yeah, so I needed a dolly. This is just the basic dolly. I use this to move around some of my stuff, so that was good. Uh, so you can do a structural, copper structural... Um, looting stain mage, magical drawer. This is just a fancy looking drawer. It's, as far as I know it, it's not actually magical in any way. So, copper plate. I don't think these are even special at this point. I really don't know. I'll just grab the... Seems like basic upgrades will be easier. Oh, oh, so it's in the steam age where you can make this one here. So, simple sterling water pump right there. So, there, there's that one. And then we did the filing cabinet. So the reason I did a filing cabinet is, uh, we'll grab another filing cabinet. I think I have them. Where do I have those filing cabinets? What's in there? There it is. Um, okay, so we have it for this basically here. And you can do this for seeds too. I don't know if I actually, did I ever put seeds in here? Did I? <gasps> I never actually brought a, a filing cabinet for my seeds. I really should have done that. Because, uh, That'll make it easier. So the seeds all share the same IDs and all that. So it would make it cleaner. I'll just throw you guys in there. Okay. So basically you put this here. And then you can just go like this. And put these. Oh, I guess you have to do this, right? There you go. Pain in the butt, but works. There you go. Okay. So, I don't know if it stops at the last row here, if we can do more than that. Oh, it looks like it might slide around a bit, so. They're supposed to have pretty incredible amount of storage, to be fair, so. They're perfect for things like this, so. They, they, they only work on, like, the one whatever ID, but that's kind of why they're amazing for this. So, yeah, you can scroll through here, and they stack. So, you can see we have... 10 of these, I guess, would be like the, the level 1 or whatever. 1-1-1, one, 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 I'm guessing, but still. And then you can take these out if you want. Whatever. But yeah, helps you with a bit more organization and uh, lets you stack things a little more densely. Densely. Okay, we'll throw you guys in here. Steam Age bag. Oh, look at that. Oh, you like those? That's a good reward, I think, to me. Oh, look at that. I got more mining pipes here, too. That was okay. Did I or did I did I get these, too? I might have just gotten those. That's that's a nice reward, then. Just a couple motors and stuff. But Yeah, the fluid pipes, I, I say these are kind of nice, just because they're, they're handy for what we've been using. Okay, so what about you? You're almost done. You, we still have to work on. Holy crap. I thought it would have been done by now. Okay, we're not doing the other two there because I it is really slow. <laughs> and don't forget, if you're not using lubricant, it's even slower. So it's like twice the speed or something, uh, or twice the speed, the twice the length. Do we have anything else done in here? No. I did grab one out of the magical, and uh, what, what did I did? I I got. Uh, oh, I just had to grab this originally. We just uncommon treasure some more coins, but uh, I went and grabbed that earlier. Just get it out of the way. Okay, so I guess now we just do a bit of a waiting game here. Okay, so you can see the byproduct was the diamond dust, which is kind of nice. So we should be able to throw those back into there, or am I doing that wrong? I might be doing that wrong. I literally thought that's all we were doing. Cutting machine, uh, ultra low voltage. No, that should... Oh, that's a lathe, silly. <laughs> yeah, now we need to wait for the cutting machine, which is almost, almost any second done. Oh, here it is. Uh, actually, it's a little bit more than any second. It is 60 seconds now. Okay, here we go. Two seconds left here. Ta-da! 
And then we can take these guys and throw them in here. They should be a little faster, but yeah, 153 seconds still. So that's that's quite timely. And then, uh, yeah, so that'll turn into those. So, yeah, those 150, right, with water. So, and that'll give you the bolts. Okay, perfect. And then, uh, yeah, so 76 and, yeah, 153. And then with the bolts within the lathe, it takes, oh, look at no seconds at all. So, yay, we did it. And then we can throw you guys in there. And there we go. And we need, what, two of them? And there we have it. Yeah, so one and two. So obviously more efficient way of doing all that too. Plus you had to anyways for this or part of it for this one. But um, yeah. Then we can go ahead and make ourselves a diamond chest. And we're missing something apparently. Oh, oh yeah, because I think I grabbed it and then I think I put it away again, didn't I? <laughs> Look at all the chests I got in there. When you start cleaning things up, it's like, oh, damn. There we go. And we made our first diamond chest, which, uh, yeah, that holds quite a bit. I think it was 108 slots on it, so pretty awesome. And, uh, yeah, we got that done. So you can do a gold to uh, chest upgrade. Oh, you get both of them. Uh, so cool. I would say the one is definitely worth it, but that's uh, kind of worth it anyways. These are meh. Junky. We have them anyways. There you go. And then, uh, yeah, I don't have any gold yet, but I can eventually make a gold one. But nice free little upgrade there. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode then. So that was pretty cool. I like that. I had a lot of fun with that. Um, we can get into, I guess we can look into the antimony eventually. Um, this is related to the BFF stuff. Yeah, uh, through the BBF, BBF or EBF for batteries is to run. So, yeah, yeah. So you're going to want to look into that because you want to have batteries for stabilizing your uh, electric blast furnace in the future. Um, oh, it looks like I can make diamond spikes and uh, XP showerhead. This is so you can turn these on and uh, get, you know, uh, EXP from your tank here, basically. Um, you got a vacuum hopper. I don't have a need for that right now, to be fair. But some stuff I can work on the side, obviously, over time. But uh, I think what we'll probably do is we'll either look at this or maybe we'll look at a bit of magic for fun. You know, just checking out magic just to get the oil too. Eventually I want to work on, but I kind of want to get to that MV part too. You kind of need that uh, anchor kind of technically for some of that. So uh, we might wait to do that for the oil if I can. I'm not sure how far, you know, we can get away without that obviously. But, uh, and then anyways, this worked out really well. Obviously this does look like it, it consumes it non it runs nonstop. Oh yeah, you just saw it burn while it's frozen. So obviously keeping this here is considered un inefficient. So if you want, you can put this on the wall and just put it in there when you need it. But uh, that worked out really well. You could always do a tank buffer, like a water buffer somewhere too underground. You know, do a railcraft one. Maybe that's a bit too big. But uh, yeah, either way, uh, yeah, we'll see what we come up with. I think we might do a wee bit of magic next time. Um, we we do need some. Um, yeah, we have the aluminium, so we could do it with that one. Uh, normally, you would do it with, uh, you'd wait till you have uh, your aluminium process up, but, um, but you know what? Maybe we should work for that. So, yeah, we'll do some more tech stuff. We'll probably do the batteries and look at some of that, maybe get ready for the electric blast furnace for the future, actually. That wouldn't be too terrible. Um, might even put that in a whole different room, maybe over here. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll decide on that eventually. But uh, either way, thank you, my friends, so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.